Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlicker, shills, desolate, service, peasants, vassals, meat sacks. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to talk about Russia and Turkey uh, in Syria. And of course, this is old news now about uh, Turkey shooting down this uh, Russian fighter jet. And uh, I, as I mentioned before, I almost jumped in and started doing the videos again uh, when that event occurred as well because it was so dramatic. But as it turns out, um, it's just another um, blip. How, however dramatic it seemed at first and however uh, dramatic the repercussions uh, seemed at first um, because uh, already the story is becoming history and um, a little closer look at uh, all the details uh, shows that it's just another event to be used by political opportunists uh, to further their agenda in the region and uh, so the, the, the stream of info that came out about the actual shooting down of the jet of course the usual uh, 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 unending stream of bullshit, uh, just like we saw in, in events in Ukraine. Um, Turkey didn't know it was a Russian plane, was one of the excuses given, and then uh, we get these fake pilot recordings um, in, in various versions about whether airspace was violated or not, and how long it was violated, and, uh, and of course the United States backs uh, Turkey's version uh, uh, completely. Uh, which only adds to the predictability of all this posturing. And um, it's uh, unlikely that uh, this was a an accident. So uh, I, I think the read in it on it is correct that a lot of pundits have talked about, which is just Turkey was just sending a, a Russia uh, a message that, that there could be complications and uh, that they will not necessarily have a free reign. Although, like I say, that this actual event, is uh, pretty minor. In fact, uh, one, one needs to only look at uh, Erdogan, the leader of Turkey, his, uh, his own 2012 statement when he said, quote, short-term violation of airspace can never be a pretext for attack, unquote. And in fact, Turkey has a, a long uh, history of uh, uh, violation of airspace uh, in that region as well, including uh, apparently hundreds and hundreds of times over uh, Greek uh, airspace. And uh, so now we have uh, this uh, relationship between uh, Turkey and Russia deteriorating, but there's a lot of historical roots there, and other people have covered it a lot better than I have. Um, I think one of the, uh, the great uh, YouTube channels for geopolitics in Eurasia is the Caspian Report, and I'll attach uh, Caspian Reports uh, discussing of this uh, Turkey shooting down this Russian jet and a lot of the historical roots of the animosity between uh, Turkey and and Russia, which goes all the way back to the, the Cold War uh, standoff with the Soviet Union, and even before that with the clash of uh, the Russian Empire and, and the uh, Ottoman Empire. So, uh, so anyway, uh, Turkey, of course, equates with ISIS, and now Russia is fighting ISIS. So uh, this is uh, puts Turkey and, and Russia at odds, uh, certainly in the way uh, Syria is going to be handled. And uh, we're seeing more and more of this uh, connection between Turkey and ISIS, but a lot of uh, alternative press has been talking about that for quite some time, months if not years, and that's uh, something I'll cover in a separate video. Um, but, you know, Turkish policy in uh, the region is, is, there are two main goals. One is to topple the Assad regime, regime change in uh, Syria, and then to uh, stifle the Kurds. Um, efforts at independence. So uh, it's hard to keep it straight sometime where Turkey is with Kurds because they have the Kurds uh, independence uh, in the Kurdish region of Turkey itself. The PKK is the military wing. Uh, so Turkey fights uh, Kurds and the PKK that is the Kurds in Turkey. And they also fight the YPG, which is the military arm of the Kurds in Syria. So they don't want any more independence in Kurdish regions of Turkey. They don't want any more independence in Kurdish regions in Syria. But ironically, they completely support uh, the Iraqi Kurdistan and the Peshmerga, the military wing there. And in fact, work very closely with that region and has uh, massive economic ties already, um, which is just the way they like it. So if there's going to be any Kurdistan, uh, as far as Turkey's concerned, that's the only place it's going to be. So that's part of the uh, re reason why we have this uh, Turkish uh, involvement with ISIS, because ISIS is going to uh, curtail 
Kurdish expansion in, in Iraq, and uh, ISIS is also going to uh, maybe even, um, or at least Turkey would have hoped, might have massacred all the Kurds in Syria. Uh, we saw the results in that in Kobani, where the Turks sat and uh, allowed uh, ISIS to uh, um, almost take this uh, Kobani city. And uh, anyway, that's another uh, story that was uh, important at one point and is now uh, part of history. And uh, one of the reasons why we know that uh, the results of this are uh, are are uh, moot is because uh, the only thing Russia did for the most part is uh, do some economic retaliations but they were very minor and easily circumvented and it was all done for public relations and posturing uh, for the masses and for a political agenda but for the most part uh, the, the economic ties between Russia and Turkey are pretty solid and uh, a lot of uh, imports uh, Turkey imports a lot from Russia and in fact is the second largest importer of Russian natural gas. So uh, once again, we find this uh, reliance on Russian natural gas is going to uh, uh, have a lot to do with what the policies are between uh, Russia and Turkey. But it is interesting to see this relationship go south a little bit. It wasn't more than a year or so ago, you know, particularly in the context of the uh, um, ongoing conflict in Ukraine, um, that we have uh, this uh, this change uh, where uh, Turkey and Russia were, go were talking about building a, a pipeline and circumventing uh, this uh, Ukrainian situation and so uh, now that's on hold for at least the time being but uh, anyway there's, uh, there's the, a little bit on Turkey and Russia in uh, Syria and uh, this uh, interesting relationship that exists there as well. I'm a useful idiot, don't you be one too.